All right, Tip Tuesday this week. We're talking power cleans. We've got power cleans in the program today, both um, from the floor in a small complex and then hang power cleans uh, in the EMOM. Um, they'll be coming up in the program in the future as well. Uh, so a couple things. First, never be afraid to train at a moderately heavy weight or a lower percentage to really work on being explosive, um, working on having a fast turnover and just really hitting those positions rather than always working at 90, 85% and sacrificing your technique or just being slow through that movement, okay? You're only gonna be faster at those higher percentages if you're faster um, and develop that speed throughout those lower percentages. I heard Coach Swistak talk about it this weekend. Um, Coach Rob talks about it all the time. So definitely today is a really good day to work on that. Second thing is the catch position and especially the power clean and how to get into that catch position. So what we've seen in the past and, and what can happen with a lot of people is what I would call the splitting their feet versus going to get the barbell and sitting down. So that this is what we would like to avoid, right? Is when we see this hips up, right? And those feet splitting, right? Versus, as you can see from the side, if I'm gonna go get the bar, send my hips back and down, right? And now I went and caught the bar in that quarter squat position. Therefore, if I were to ever miss a clean, right, I would actually just continue to catch it lower and lower. Another point I heard this weekend with the weightlifting was if you're gonna miss a clean or a power clean, the only way you really truly should miss it is if you miss it by ending up squatting it versus splitting your feet wide, hips are forward, elbows are down in that bad position, okay? So how can I reinforce that? By drilling the technique at those lower percentages Today's a great day to do that. Hope to see you.